All right, welcome back to some more Office Trivia. I'm here with Nick, I'm here with Matt, and I'm here with JMO. We have a special for you guys today. This is a YouTube exclusive Jeopardy game. We'll be coming out with these about once a week, so make sure you're subscribed, you have notifications on, so you'll be notified. Today, our Jeopardy theme is Drake. Oh. Drake? <laughs> That's <love> it. right. <laughs> we got double Drake Jeopardy today. Now that's why you were asking us about uh, fucking. Yeah, that's why I was asking about Drake songs. I was I like, how popular gonna, are these? I thought you were going to actually like have a category that was Drake songs like yeah. in the questions. I was yeah, like, that's, that's kind of crazy. All right, so y'all know how Jeopardy works, right? Do I need to explain kinda, the rules I'm here? I'm amped right now. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's so, nothing real quickly, Drake. we have Marvin's Room. Started from the bottom, the motto, and best I ever had. Oh, I hope. I don't really want to give uh, any more than that, to be honest. No Beautiful. Need. Okay, so let's start with uh, Nicholas. You're over here. Why not? No, I'm a sad boy. Marvin's room 200. <laughs> Marvin's room for 200. Week one of the 1998 season. Rookie cor- <sighs> Matt. Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison is correct. I knew where it was going before it got there. Matthew, $200 to your name. Let's stick with Marvin's room for four. Marvin's room for 400. He was the last pick of the second round. Who is Marvin Mims? Marvin Mims is correct. Damn. Took him in the second? Terrible pick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going to be Brennan Cooks in that I'm offense. A big anti Mims guy. He's going to be a huge Brennan. He's really just going to turn into Brennan Cooks. The Broncos are going 4 and 13. No, don't do that. I didn't do it. Marvin did it. Nicholas, $400 to your name. Where would you like to go? Let's rip Marvin again. Shout out to my grandpa. His name, <laughs> Big Poppy. That's Poppy's actual name. Foot long sauerkraut with hot dog. Give it to me. Wow, that was a lot to take in at once. Sorry. <laughs> Marvin gets me fired up. Marvin's room for 600. In 2013, he scored a career high. Who is Marvin Jones? Damn it. Marvin Jones is correct. Imagine not knowing Marvin Jones is eventually coming. I thought I thought he was once he wasn't the four that he might not come. That I, that was my original thought too. <laughs> as soon as I saw ten touchdowns, I had a feeling oh the, uh, the question was going to be on that they that they're all Marvins. Marvins? <laughs> what do you think we were doing here? <laughs> no, I almost asked like, why? How Those is are the this? best categories? You know, like a name category. Yeah. They're fun. James was just like comes to the rose. I thought. I thought <laughs> <laughs> comes to the douce. <laughs> Bitches on my own phone. <laughs> All right, uh, $1,000 for Nick. We have Matt's got 200 JMO is broke as shit. Yeah, and girl. Take the 600 off JMO the caught on. Should we finish the category? Hell yeah. Yeah. I can't even think I of it. I don't know what I'm <laughs> All right. Marvin's room for 800. He first came to prominence as the defensive coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens from 96 to 2001. Later spent 16 seasons as the head coach for their division rival. Whoever rang it go. Was me- Marvin Lewis. Marvin Lewis oh. is correct. That's Dang so them. easy. Why Why did it With take bangles, so long to baby. get that? Yeah. He was there 16 years? Oh, and they won nothing. He was like Jeff Fisher <laughs> before the Jeff no, Fisher names kind of came. Yeah, his yeah, his yeah, thing was fair. making the playoffs and never winning. Okay. God, a coach doesn't last that long anymore. Marvin, how do I get that? All right, Marvin's room is out. We are tied at $1,000 with Nick and Matt. J-Mo, you're not poor. You're not in the negative. You don't owe me shit. I'm not so in debt. Good. You're not in debt. Don't got to talk to the bank yet. Where would you like to go? Let's go best I ever had for 200. All right. Best I ever had. Best I ever had for 200. With a minimum of 10 games played, he has the most passing touchdowns per games for the Jacksonville Jaguars with 1.61. Trevor Lawrence? Not Trevor Lawrence. Nope. Whoever oh rang God, it, go. This is 200. It might be easier than I'm thinking. Is it Gardner Minshew? It is Gardner uh, Minshew. Nice. I think the minimum of 10 made me think, yeah, there's got to be a catch. I thought, that's why I thought the, I thought the catch right. was that T-Law was kind of like, yeah. was kind of young. I was I was gonna go Gerard or Bortles to be honest with you. I'm glad I stayed oh, away. Jesus from that Christ! One. <laughs> Relax. You got minus two hundred. I got zero. So. The reason why I put the minimum games was because there was a no name quarterback who played one game and threw two touchdowns. That's fair. I thought you went minimum just because Trevor Lawrence is kind of kind of no. kind of new. I mean, Trevor Lawrence has played more than ten games. I'm aware. So is Gardner Minshew. So is everyone who. That's, I thought you meant like that was that was why. All right, Jamal. Fucking. I want to start it from the bottom. Two hundred. Okay. Started from the bottom. Now we here at 200. As an undrafted free agent out of Kent State, this five-time Pro Bowler helped his team to two Super Bowl victories, including an iconic 100-yard pick six. Rip. Who's James Harrison? James Harrison. Good. That's correct. Nice. I had no idea he went to Kent State. No clue. All right, where are we going? Let's go started from the bottom 400. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> As an undrafted free agent in 2004 out of Arkansas, he was signed by the Buffalo Bills, where he started a streak of nine consecutive Pro Bowls, which ended in 2016 with the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm having a hard time reading this. Ended in 2016. Rip. Fine. Who is? Oh, this is so bad. Why did I do that? Uh, who is Brian Dawkins? Uh, nope, that's incorrect. Started with the Bills. I read that backwards by accident. Rip. I don't. Th- 
Jason Peters? It is Jason Peters. Oh. What a great poll. Nice. So he wasn't a Pro Bowl in 2016? That's what I got from that. Damn. I thought he like, got better when he had to Philly. Well, to... it consecutive. Maybe he like, had a bad year. Got you. Yeah. Those were actually all of his Pro Bowls. He was, he's a nine-time Nine consecutive Pro Bowl. Pro he never made one in Philly? No, he did. That question was saying, like... It ended in Philly. It ended in Philly. It start like... He made two oh. Pro Bowls with the Bills, and then seven more I with thought Philly. the streak ended. Oh, that's why. Give, I like the way you, right, right, like right, the way right, you right. put it, Tony. You what? I like the way you worded it. It was, it was nah, good. No, it was good. I, it was fine. It was okay. It was, it was perfect. It was, it was, it was, I'm just a fucking it was, idiot. It was okay. All right. We have Nick at 800, J-Mo at 600, and Matt at 800. It's going to be a battle. I'll start with, or I'll stick with starter from the bottom, 600. Starter from the bottom, 600. After going undrafted and being asked to switch positions out of Washington, that's University of Washington, this quarterback went on to lead the league in passing yards two different seasons and was elected to the Hall of Fame in 2006. Hands off. Yeah, no, this is this is not one to worth. Jim, yeah, I'll go for it, dude. Five. All right, out of time. That is Warren Moon. Oh. <laughs> Good Lord, I don't want to see what the 12-800 question is. <laughs> Let's do it now. Wow. Who's, who's it on? Yeah, you I'll know? stick with that. Yeah. Start from the bottom. Sorry Warren for the bottom Moon. 800. This franchise completed the greatest single season turnaround in NFL history, going from a one and fifteen regular season in 07 to an eleven and five record in two thousand eight. Oh, I have an answer. Five, four. At the last second, Jamo's going to throw one out. Is this Knicks team? Is it the Falcons? It is not the Falcons. Fuck. That is minus eight hundred. Go for it. Is it the Dolphins? It is the Dolphins. Fuck. That was Damn. that was a team I would have went for. So, Matt, with plus 800, J-Mo, unfortunately. Wasn't there one win, the Patriots, like at the end of the year? Um, I actually don't remember. I just know that the team that turned it around was the Wildcat team with uh, mm-hmm. Ricky Williams and Ronnie Brown. I feel I could be way off, but I feel like they beat the Patriots, who had, like, a very good year. Wasn't Matt Ryan the first pick in 08? He was. Uh, yeah, he might have been, but I don't think we were, they like, took, awesome. They took Jake Long after they were 1-15. I'm pretty sure. That's what I got around to figuring it out. I think I was DeMonte Parker. Yeah. He went nuts with 400 yards. Turned the whole franchise around. <laughs> in one game. In one mm-hmm. quarter, actually. Mm-hmm. JMO, unfortunately, you have fallen into the negatives. Minus 200. Jesus, fuck. Let's go Matt best. at six. Sorry. Matt Sorry, at 1,600. No, Nick at 800. Apologies. I mean, me to cut you off. Yeah, don't ever jump in front of me ever again. <laughs> I'll chug a C4 right now and get wild <laughs> on your ass. I believe you. Let's go best I ever had for four. Best I ever had for 400. Since 1980, he has the most sacks by a Green Bay Pack. Oh, this Five, is bad. four. Uh, Three, two. Julius Peppers? Not Julius Peppers. Who was the guy? Reggie White? Yeah. Not Reggie White. <laughs> Bro. I'm sitting the fuck out. Was it Kevin Green? I wish he just said it. It was White. Clay Matthews. That's what's going to be oh, my second guess. Damn. I wanted you to go Reggie White so that I didn't have to decide. Well, I won't, I won't do that for you. You fucking went Julius Peppers who played a year as a Packer. Yeah, but <laughs> 83 and a half sacks. Come on now. <laughs> the math don't add up for you there? I knew it was a trick. That, that was 400. That was oh, 400. We got tricked there. No, I didn't get tricked. I get. I got a little bit tricked. We got tricked. You didn't get tricked. You just got it wrong. We got. I got tricked. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie White was. Why are you so optimistic about how life works? <laughs> Best I ever had for six. Best I ever had for six. He is one out of three wide receivers who holds a franchise record for most receiving yards in a single season for multiple teams, along with Brandon Marshall and Devonte Adams. This is cool. <laughs> I don't know it. No, it's cool. Joe's like, I'm here for the ride. <sighs> Fuck, no. Who, whoever did it. Randy Moss? Not Randy Moss. Yep. Tyreek Hill? It is Tyreek Hill. Mm. Nice. Leader for the Dolphins and the Chiefs. I was what the say, fuck is Randy doing? I was going to say Tory Holt. <laughs> <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> that was six. He has just broke Randy's last year, probably. Right? Oh, he definitely did. I'm a fucking idiot. What would have been the other team? It's this fucking Yeah, I guess he probably season. did. That's fair. That's a good guess. I should have known Jay Jettas this year broke it. I'm going to need a credit card. <laughs> JMO at minus 800, Nick at 1,000, Matt at 1,200. Uh, best I ever had, 800. Best I ever had. All right. He, along with Jerry Rice and Emmett Smith, holds the top three single season record for the most touchdowns scored for their respective franchises. These are so verbose. The most touchdowns. Wait. Most touchdowns scored in a single season for their franchise. Well, Danny Tomlinson? has got to be. Not LT. Oh, thank God. I hate right. this game. So they have the first Four. most, second most, and third most? Right. Top three. Wow. Two, one. Was that it? is Sean Alexander. Okay. 
with the forward. Seahawks. Can't even get 2,000 yards from scrimmage. Char- what a fucking bum. Chargers, um, it was LT and well, I double checked this one. I don't remember who it was, but I, I know that someone broke up LT. LT That's has like three of four. Tyro Williams. 100% the <laughs> go. The fancy go. Of course. Fuck. I guess I'm guessing. Huge. All right. Nick at 1,000, Matt at 400, JMO at minus 800. Remember, that was an 800-er? That was an 800-er. Dude, why do I keep guessing on that, the 800s? That's why I didn't go for LT because I, I was stop. like, it's too easy of an answer for 800. Fuck. I think I got, I got the 600, yeah. right? So, oh, motto, 200. Motto for 200. This city in Nebraska was a commonly used audible. Fuck, that's you. Omaha. Omaha, that is correct. This is a sick time. <laughs> <laughs> JMO's so deep in the negatives, but he's having fun. <laughs> Every time he sees a clue, he's like, "I fucking love this man." I don't, I don't know what the answer is, but I love it. All right, all right, all right. Fuck that. The was motto for four. That's nice. Nice. Did nice you pick. throw your uh, in here? This four-word catchphrase <laughs> took off as a meme rather than a true rallying cry. After the team w- posted a behind-the-scenes clip of the making of a pump-up video for fans. Five. Oh, four. Fuck. Three. Do you like that? Two. Nope, that is incorrect. I believe it's just you like that. Yeah. No, I, stretch, I stretch it out there because <laughs> that's, that's, that's where my brain went to, though. Four, three, of two. The making of a pump up. All right. I was looking for Broncos country. Let's oh. ride. That's Let's awesome. <laughs> <J-Mo>. <laughs> oh. Was that a pump? Was that for a pump? Okay, whatever. I'm not getting into the semantics. He's just trying to butter me up so I can lend him some money. <laughs> that was made for, I thought that was made for like the, like in stadium, like. Yeah, it's a pump up video yeah. for fans. Okay, I guess, yeah. That's what it says. Yeah, um, pump up video. Yeah, right. Stick it to him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> switching <laughs> some money from you to JMO. JMO's got the right attitude here. <laughs> we'll go for six. Not doing any type of leapfrogging. So we're just going to roll on to six. Prior to Super Bowl XLIX, he put on a clinic. I'm just here so I don't get fined. That is not correct. Five, four. Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch is oh the correct God. answer. <laughs> Probably should have read it a little That's bit That's why more. I took a second. Bruh. <laughs> oh, my God. Bruh. Uh, this game. Jeopardy. Right. Wait, <laughs> Nick is back at zero. That's fucking nonsensical. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew someone was going to jump in and be like, I'm just here so I don't get fined. That's a, oh, did you know that's that? That's exactly what happened, too. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> for 600, so Matt. Uh, cunt. It's not my fault. You can blame Tony. You can't get mad at me. You're a cunt capitalizing <laughs> on my uh, situation. All right. Let's go to the model one. for eight. Are you sure? Yep. All right, if you say so. While being peppered with questions about his team's slow start. Three, two. Bill one. Belichick. Er, nope. That's what I was going to guess. I thought this was Aaron Rodgers saying relax, to be honest. You're getting a little antsy. Yeah, I know. Five. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a veteran four, Jeopardy player. Three. Rookie nerves in the batter two, box. Mm-hmm. One. The correct answer I was looking for was either Cincinnati or the Cincinnati Bengals. Hold I up. Never. This is about his teams. This head coach. Wait, I'll be right. I wasn't telling you who the head coach was. We've covered questions about his team, so sorry. This head coach, because oh, towards next. Oh, wait, was directed to a game at home versus this three and Yeah, team. I got you. Hold up. It says who's, this. It, it's kind of the team that's like this head coach makes. So he said we're on to Cincinnati. Yeah, team. who's but he? The, is Bill Belichick. Bill, Bill Belichick. Oh, okay. But I. I didn't put Bill's name in it because I thought that'd up, be too yeah. obvious. Uh, I kinda, this it, head coach and this three and team. Yeah, there's two. You didn't. You asked two different questions in this there's question. Like two questions in there. Yeah. It should say the head coach of the team. It should say the head coach, but I was looking for Cincinnati. Ah, uh, I'd like to refute that. I don't know how you would refute that. Uh, we don't. We don't have a. We don't have a refute board. I would say you just. What if you just don't lose the points? Do you think that's fair? Based I on what just happened, I think that's fair. You don't lose the. I'll, points. I'll let you guys decide, but I what feel like there's two that? questions. I think. That. I think I, this head coach made I it clear. I would head coach too. Yeah, and I would have said Bill Belichick. And if I was in your shoes, I'd like be one of those. It, it should have said the. It either needed the to head identify coach. head coach. It either yeah, it wouldn't need to identify the team's head coach or the team that was. I would the, say he doesn't lose the points. Seems fair. I'm a fair guy. All right. I appreciate that. So what you at zero? Back at zero. <laughs> Huge. Nice. I'll never get in the neggy. All right. Something that was there? first <laughs> round of Jeopardy. We have Nick back at zero, JMO at minus eight hundred, and Matt at twelve hundred. Right. So we move on to the next board. We have as our categories draft day. Great song. Can't take a joke. Fair trade. Not so fair trade. And final fantasy. Ooh, so that last Matt, one, right? I believe you pick. Uh, I can't vouch for that, but let's cook. Let's go draft day for 400. All right. right. If it's not Johnny Manziel, it's an L. <laughs> he was an expected number one overall draft pick. Five, four. Laramie Tunzel. Laramie Tunzel is correct. I knew that, but I was like, I'm going to get antsy again and press the fucking button and not read. 
I saw smoking a bong. I immediately was like, it's not Johnny Menzel. And then I was <laughs> like, it's Laramie Tunzel. Fuck, I should have known that. Now I'm nervous about getting too antsy. Hey, you got to chill out. What card was that, Jamma? Need more C4. Where would you like to go, Matt? Uh, stick with draft day for eight. Despite some run-ins with the law during his time at Florida State, the Oakland Raiders used the 17th overall pick of the 2000 draft to select him and to this day is the franchise all-time leading scorer. See, Florida State might just perk up, but I don't, I don't think I know. I feel like I have a guess, but I don't want to. I don't want to rip it. Five, four, three. The correct answer: Sebastian Janikowski. Oh, that, that was where I was going to fucking dude, go I wasn't too. Thinking Fuck. kicker. Yep. Oh, I, I did, and then I was like, I was oh, like, seventeenth no. overall is so aggressive, but I do oh, feel no. like I remember people talking about that pick. It being was so crazy. It was one of the most shocking picks taking a kicker in the first round, oh, and no. he is by far their leading scorer. Yeah, uh, I should have went for that one. No, I can't go home tonight. No, my dad's at home. He's still on vacation. We're good. Okay. <laughs> All right. No need to call child services. Stick with draft day for 12. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, I should have hit that. I, yeah, same. Chad Pennington, Giovanni Cromarzi, Chris Redmond, T. Martin, Spurgeon Wynn, and this Virginia Tech quarterback were dubbed the Brady Six as they were all infamously drafted before Tom Brady. Ass. Yeah, I'm out. Five. I can't do it, but I think I know it. Correct answer, Mark Bolger. All right, Matt. Let's go not so fair trade for four. It's a little, a little dicey. Not so fair trade for four. Just one year after being drafted third overall and seeing him run for 950. Fuck. Five. Trent Richardson? Yeah. Trent Richardson is correct. Uh, All right. Games are over here, Matt. I was a huge Trent Richardson guy. I'm done messing around. You would be. He had a neck just like yours. <laughs> Let's go not so fair trade for eight. Jim, you sleep? <laughs> you sleep? <doing> <laughs> this wide receiver was traded in division after three seasons for a second and a seventh round pick. He would go on to make five Pro Bowls and lead the league in receptions three times. Five. Wes Welker? Wes Welker is correct. Nice. Damn it. Jamo, what's going on? I'm struggling, dude. There's so many numbers on this question that it just fucked me up. I think the Drake's in my head. <laughs> He's just listening to the Drake song. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, still stuck on Marvin. Like where, like, next time it just goes to Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Not so fair trade for 12. Oh, you're pulling away here. Holy shit. San Diego sent two first-round picks, a second-round pick, and two players to this franchise to move from number three to number two to select Ryan Leaf. No shot. They traded up for him. I should not either, to be honest with you. Five, four, three. Correct answer, the Arizona Cardinals. Typical Arizona. Who would they take at three? Anybody know? Do not know. Wasn't part of my questioning. Okay. Yes. Kyler Murray, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go not so fair trade for 16. Let's close it out. I want to be done with this. Same. <laughs> Selected in the fourth round by the Oilers, this wide receiver didn't even make it to week one in Houston, instead getting traded to Seattle for an eighth-round pick. Five. Steve Largent? Steve Largent is correct, <laughs> Jamo. Nice. Way to go. Nice. Let's cook. <laughs> oh, my God. That was nice. that was 1,600, Jamo. You went from minus 800 yes. to plus 800. Oh, I'm not yeah. guessing again. Uh, what am I at? <laughs> uh, Matt, you were at 2,800. Nick, you were still at zero. Thanks. Okay. Thank ben. you. Hey, Feel Jamo's good. right in this thing now. What, uh, did you, like, know that, or was that just a good guess? or Just you being you saying Oilers, I knew it was old as shit, and I knew the only old Seahawks wide receiver. Fair. It's fair, and it's he, he a not so a fair trade. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll try. Can't take a joke. 400. Can't take a joke for four hundred. After he scored his second touchdown of the game, he pretended to pull down his pants. Five, four. Randy Moss. Randy Moss is correct. Oh no. Jmo on a little bit of a heater. He's gonna win. He's gonna come back and win. Watch. I'm gonna risk it all. I'm final. <laughs> no matter what I have. All right, Jmo, where are we going? Stick with can't take a joke. Eight hundred. He scored a touchdown and pulled out a little towel. He wiped the back of the ball, burped it, and then put it down for a nap. Five, four. Ooh, Kareem Hunt? Three. Not Kareem Hunt. He took a nap on a ball. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he fell asleep in the end zone, Tony. He did. All right, I'm going I'm to sit back down. Two, one. That's Steve Smith. Mm. Correct answer, Steve Plus. Smith. Kareem Hunt did do something kind of similar, but that's why I put the specifics of burped it. Fair enough. There we go. You knew that? You, like, double-checked? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. 100%. That's super thorough. Work yes. ethic. I, really, <laughs> I would have really never thought, like, pulling that out would have been a trick. Like, I, I don't I feel Jamo, like... you're up. Uh, let's try Final Fantasy. Final 400? Yeah. He's the only NFL player to win an MVP in his final season, rushing for 1,544 yards and scoring 21 total touchdowns. Five. Terrell Four. Davis? Not Terrell Davis. Didn't TD win MVP? He, got... uh, he didn't win an NFL MVP. Three, two, one... Correct answer. Oh, I'll count it if you five. Barry? Barry Sanders? Not correct. Was it? It wasn't Tiki Barber, right? No. Okay. It was Jim Brown. 
Oh, I could have thought of that, but. Damn, I felt so good with TD. He's so old. All right. Nick at zero. JMO at zero. Matt oh, at 2,400. I'm only, okay. I thought I was in debt again. Started so hot. I think I've got a question in like seven boxes, 17 boxes. All right. Uh, JMO, I think it's still on you. Yeah, let's finish off draft day. Draft day for 1600 In 1977, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers passed on Tony Dorsett to select this running back out of USC with the first overall pick. Mm. So bad. Do I do it? Five, do four, it? Do I just go into oblivion? Three, I don't know. Two, one. <laughs> Bro. Who, I don't know. My guess in? is so bad. Bro, you both five, guess. Four. Bo Jackson. Three, not Bo Jackson. I will say it's a good guess, but. O.J. Simpson? Not O.J. Simpson. Fuck. Correct answer was Ricky Bell. Okay, what the fuck were what? we doing? I mean, OJ none of us have ever even heard of USC. him. Oh, he, I went to USC, OJ, OJ and went I was USC. thinking maybe he got traded or something after. Yeah, I, no, that was the name I was considering, but yeah. I, I felt like too I easy. just felt like I needed to take a risk here. No, that's fair. It felt too easy. To be fair, I thought I thought Matt would have that one for some reason. No, Ricky, I, no I meant Ricky, like OJ felt like too obvious of an answer is what I meant. God, I feel like that would have been a perfect 1600. You know who Ricky Bell is, Matt? Uh, I think he, did he win a Heisman? I there were a couple SC drafted first. Overall, there was probably. like two or three SC running backs that won Heisman's in the seventies. No, he didn't because Tony Dorsett was the Heisman winner. Okay, so it was like it was a really controversial Got pick. You. Being, okay, yeah, whatever. Anyways, JMO. Oh my god, can't take a joke. Twelve hundred. Can't take a joke. After scoring a touchdown, he pulled out a sack of autographed jerseys and handed them out to fans. Once again, he was fined for the stunt. He just has a stack of autographs. Jerseys. Not jerseys. Oh my god. Jerseys. <laughs> I think I should have seen this clip. I've never seen this clip. Or correct answer. Is this recent? Chad Ochocinco. Uh, of course it was. There's no way you can make this list without having him as an answer. That's what I, I thought maybe saying once again he was fine, like mm. maybe giving it away. That, that just made me like think a, of it was a repeat offender, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to JMO. JMO, you still cooking on the board? I guess. I'm we haven't had a right answer in like. Yeah, an can't hour. take a joke. <laughs> I th- what happened to Jeopardy being so fun? <laughs> <laughs> Can't take a joke dead. for 1600 After scoring a touchdown, he pulled out a cell phone. Oh my God. A teammate had stashed underneath the padding of the uprights. He then called his mom and was fined $30,000. This is, I can't like, yeah, I can't, I'm having a hard time matching the players. I, with the I think I know, but I don't want to guess because I don't want to give him a chance for the content. Should I do it? What's the score? You probably have it right. You're up by a lot. Oh, this yeah. would be so stupid of me to get it wrong though and lose. Five. I've had a win in a minute. Oh. Three, two, one. Can I guess now that we're done? Yeah, off the clock. Is it Joe Horn? It is Joe Horn. Oh, oh nice. Wasn't there someone uh, that like mimicked that recently? Like they caught T.O. <laughs> like he did everything. Joe Horn. That was a fucking easy. That that one's gonna get the comments going for sure. Damn. You well, think that was an easier one than the the Ojo Cinco one? Personally, yeah. No, I knew no. it. I, I don't think it was easier. <laughs> I think it was perfect for the sixteen hundred, just because Joe Horn's not like too noticeable. But I feel like yeah. that's such a memorable Damn. celebration. Okay. All right, JMO. Final Fantasy eight hundred. I need to get all of these in a row Yep, to even be in this game. Prior to suffering a career-ending concussion, he completed his final full game with 379 yards and five touchdowns and route to a wild-card victory. Wow. We'll throw passing. Unfortunate. Calling this Final Fantasy is hilarious. Who's <laughs> <laughs> Drew Bledsoe? Not Drew Bledsoe. We got to try on every one of them. Yeah, I mean. Five, four, three, two, one. That was Kurt Warner. Kurt. Didn't know Kurt went down like that. Yeah. Kind of sad. Didn't know Kurt was like that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't recognize your game. It was heartbroken. I'm going to try to set the record for most <laughs> Kurt. most money that I owe. <laughs> most, <laughs> most debt. All right, JMO. 1200 For 1200 To conclude his seven-year career, he caught 94 passes for 1,119 yards and a league leading 18 touchdowns during his final season. Holy shit. This retires like that. This had to be an old-ish. Yeah. Five, four, three. No, no. Don't. Correct answer, Sterling Sharp. Oh, fuck, another sad one. Yep, another sad one. Jeez. I think Final Fantasy is yeah, just this sad change this, this should have been <laughs> I thought this was going to be a fantasy depressing. category. That's why I was me pumped. too. That's why I didn't pick it because I was going to capture you guys. Well, it is kind of fantasy. It's just their final it's ever. Not fantasy at all. It's just stats. What was, <laughs> what was the 400 one of this? I don't remember. Was that sad? Uh, it was Jim Brown winning the MVP. So, no. Uh, all right, last question. <laughs> JMO? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> After being drafted in the second round and considered a disappointment in his first three seasons, he capped off his career with 21-27 yards from scrimmage and five scores. In one season? In one season. What the fuck? I scored five times. What do you mean drafted in the second round? How do you suck three seasons in a row and then do that? Five. Ricky Williams. Not Ricky Williams. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a first round pick. Five. Hold on. Oh, yeah. He's like, come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Correct. 
You got it. Just let him go. Oh, uh, this is so bad. Uh, Deuce McAllister. Not Deuce McAllister. I was just trying to think of that 2,000 yard from scrimmage list. Correct answer, Tiki Barber. Oh, fucking cunt. Tiki. Tiki. Over 2,100 yards from scrimmage. So Yeah, because yeah, he just went off. Final jet. Final jet, but uh, much down? we have a little bit of a problem here. Everyone's in debt. You don't have a final jet? I do have a final jet. You just don't have a final jet because you are in the hole. Yeah, in real, What's the problem? In real Jeopardy, anyone who's in negative, they, they, they're they not on the screen for can final I, Jeopardy. Can I borrow from next Jeopardy? <laughs> Wait, are you I'll negative? take it too. Yeah. yeah oh. You're negative five thousand. Oh, that's all right. Just do a solo shot of me doing yeah. the final jeopardy. <laughs> Hold on. Me and JMO are combining our money, so we're at negative seven thousand two hundred. <laughs> it's not looking great for either of you two. So it's kind of unfortunate because I, I like this question, but I guess we'll rip it anyways. Yeah. You guys can't bet any money, but you know, for zero dollars, you can chime in. I'm wagering one dollar. You're gonna wager one dollar. Yeah. All right. I like what that. Coward. <laughs> just double up. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to double my debt or go back to zero. Is that an option? I'm taking a big loan. Sure. All right. It's got to get back to even. I've, this is about to be the hardest question of all time. Oh, yeah. No. I actually have... This might be easy. This might be hard, but... <laughs> this last one relate to Drake? It is related to Drake. Oh, God. <laughs> in the song Lemon Pepper Freestyle by Drake and Rick Ross, Drake lyrically name drops uh, this NFL player in reference to missing out on incentive money due to a Super Bowl loss. I know it. You know it? Pretty sure. Rip it. It's Mahomes. It's Patrick Mahomes. For one dollar. One extra dollar. Yeah. You get it. Do you know the line? Um, it's really short. Patrick Mahomes about to fall short a couple hundred. That's literally all it is. <laughs> live, but I fuck the note of Republic. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Lemon Pepper Freestyle, banger of a song. It really is. Oh, that's my Rick Ross impression. Oh. Nice. Oh. All right, that was Jeopardy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for participating. I hated that. You love that one. I was I was having so much fun for top five minutes. Yeah, until the questions got hard. They were really hard. Yeah, they might have been a little too hard. No, they were they were good. Yeah, of course you think so. <laughs> Matt with fucking ten thousand dollars. Matt with twenty four oh one. Oh man. If I if they were in it, I would have said Joe Horn. But I did it was like it just wasn't worth it. Oh, I think you meant for this. No, okay. I meant like if that's like, not a good answer. Yeah, no, no, not a good answer. <laughs> well, make sure TikTok you like and subscribe. Follow us for more. <laughs> no, it's good. Turn on noties, share with your mother, your father, your grandfather, father's father, mother, brother, son. And this shit. <laughs> <laughs> got work to do. <laughs>